guys, I am Wizarding World YouTuber Victoria McLean and welcome back to my channel. Now today is the first of, I hope, many, 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 many official videos by myself um, about the new Harry Potter TV series. So we are going to have fun and we're going to look at all the news that we have got so far. So before I get straight into it, I'm going to show you what wand I'm using. Now a lot of you, I'm going to go through all this in the video, a lot of you have been talking about people that you don't want to see replaced, um, obviously one of them that is mentioned so many times is Severus Snape, Alan Rickman. Unfortunately, I'm sure if he could play Snape again, I'm sure he would. I'm sure he would love it. I mean, I'm sure he loved playing Snape. But unfortunately, obviously, he's no longer with us, sadly. But this is Professor Snape's beautiful black wand. It is just to die for. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I haven't used it for a very, very long time, so I thought it was massively overdue. That that was very Welsh, wasn't it? Massively, massively overdue voice. <laughs> but this is Severus Snape's wand, but I'm going to put it back before I break it. So today is the 26th of April and I am going to be doing what you guys love. I'm going to be reading what's happening today in the Wizarding World from Harry Potter, A Magical Year. Dragons comprised entirely of green and gold sparks were soaring up and down the corridors emitting loud fiery blasts and bangs as they went. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix Chapter 28 Snape's Worst Memory. Oh and I've just used Snape's wand. Oh that was just so perfect. <laughs> So, wow, Harry Potter TV series, right? Yes, Harry Potter TV series, Coming to Max, was formerly known as HBO Max. Now, I've had a load of messages from you guys, a load of comments, and I have gone through them all. Now, we are having one big question, okay, about, because it's HBO Max, now known as Max, so bloody confusing, um, will it be available worldwide? Now, Max is available in the UK, it's under Sky Max, or Sky Atlantic, or it's available on Now TV. Now, for other people across the world, come on now, do you really think they would not allow this show to be admitted or shown anywhere in the world. They would lose way too much money. I really honestly think that pretty much everywhere will be able to get it at some point. Now, this is not due for release. We have a release year of 25 or 26, so 2025, 2026. And again, that is uh, something that they have mentioned, but it, it's not set in stone. I've worked in TV for a long time. My daughter works in film and we know that dates can change. I mean, look at The Little Mermaid, right? Look at Stranger Things, right? There is loads of things that could change. So Little Mermaid comes out next month. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so we've had a date. I've got loads of things on my phone ready to go through. So the first thing I'm gonna go to um, is the Harry Potter series officially confirmed by HBO April 2023 whilst ha HBO Max hasn't announced an official release date. Deadline has reported that it's expected to arrive in 2025-2026. Now, the good news about this is a lot of people were worried that maybe they'd started filming in America, maybe they started filming here and people didn't know about it. They haven't even got the cast. Now, I will tell you why I know this. HBO Max, right, or HBO, have announced that they're going to do this TV series. Now, I was for one, was panicking that they were going to film it elsewhere. Now, we don't know where they're going to film it. However, Leavesden have bought up a load of land around the Harry Potter studios because it is an active film set. At the moment, I think The Quiet Place is there. There's a load of other things. Obviously, hey, uh, House of the Dragon, Game of Thrones is filmed there and it's currently started filming. Um, but they have not announced where they're going to film it now. No cast members have been confirmed, but the main golden trio will likely be newcomers, just like Dan, Rupert and Emma were. That is so true. Nobody knew who they were unless they'd seen them in a film or, or so on, you know, that they'd seen them. Emma, I think, had only done school plays. Rupert had only done like little tiny things. Nobody knew who they were. So they were newcomers. Yes, fair enough, they were the only faces at that point to play Harry, Ron and Hermione. However, I think they would be happy for this kind of torch to be passed on to the next generation. But there is more. According to Edinburgh Live, 
new Harry Potter TV series announced with fresh casting and plot explained. Right, okay. I will put the links to these, to the news articles that I found in the chat so you can have a look for yourselves. What it will be is, they haven't cast anyone yet, especially the Golden Trio, apparently, because... Hero Talent Group founder Nicole Tasker told The Times that a number of actors will be picked through open calls through the likes of social media and local drama companies. Nicole said the casting team will do open calls on social media, go to local drama groups and contact all child agencies. It used to be just the big drama schools, but everything is more open now. So they're going to be doing open castings for some of these roles. So they haven't picked anybody yet. This will become a decade long series produced with the same epic craft, love and care this global franchise is known for. This series will feature a new cast to lead the, a new generation of fandom full of fantastic detail, much loved characters, dramatic locations that Harry Potter fans have loved for over 25 years. So far we know that no one has been cast yet. They are doing open casts and they're contacting local agencies, schools, and they will be doing open castings on social media. So this is really, really big news. It means that this is nowhere near ready to be filmed yet, which to be honest, I am feeling a little bit relieved about because I was so worried that this had all been done secretly behind our backs, which to be honest, I'd understand why they would have done that. However, we, we really do need to know every detail as it's happening, don't we? And you will find it here on my channel as it comes. Now, this is the fun part. I have got a mountain of speculation about the cast that could, could be involved. And again, this is speculated, it's not confirmed. Not confirmed, okay? So we are gonna go through those right now. Some of them are absolutely adorable. Toby Wolf. Toby Wolf is rumoured to be taking over from Daniel Radcliffe as our newest Harry Potter. The actor has previously appeared in Billy Piper's film Rare Beasts, as well as TV shows including Pistol and The Last Post. He has also starred opposite Bella Ramsey in... I can't see that bit on the beaches. Sorry, um, shout out to Eve. I screenshot these from her TikTok. Um, but yes, yeah, so I think when you look at him, you can just see him with his glasses. He would be so adorable. I don't know what color eyes he has. It would be nice if this child did have the right eyes. Obviously, Daniel Radcliffe was meant to wear uh, um, green contact lenses, but during the first scene with the Hogwarts Express, it's actually the end of the movie, it was the first scene they shot, um, he's got red eyes because he became allergic or he found they found that he was allergic to contact lenses so he could not have green eyes all they needed then was to make sure that the mother had the same eyes as the as the father as the son so that is why neither the mother nor the son have green eyes in the films Harry Potter so I'm sure they will either do it digitally but that could be very expensive it would just be easier if they got kids with green eyes Bronte car Carmichael is that right as Hermione now she is absolutely adorable her face is so cute I can apart from that fringe I can so see her playing Hermione now again these are rumored there's no confirmation nobody's been cast yet these are rumored Bronte is a British actress who already has several movies and TV shows under her belt having played L Lydia in An Andor Madeline in Christopher Robin and Martha, one of something, Little Birds, <laughs> and Game of Thrones, she most recently was on our screens as the young Biddy in the BBC adaptation, Great Expectations. I didn't know she was in Game of Thrones, but she is absolutely adorable. I can so see her playing this. Joshua Pickering, Ron Weasley. Now, Ron Weasley is meant to be incredibly tall and lanky, isn't he? He's trying to be like gaunt and proper redhead. I don't know about this actor, Joshua Pickering. I think, I don't know. I think he could work if he's got properly flaming red hair and loads of freckles. But I don't know. This is quite a daunting photo because he looks more like Harry Potter in this photo, you know. So let's just like, let's move on. Okay, a lot of people 
speculated that this was true. L Lucius Malfoy could be played by Tom Felton. However, so many of you have said no! That you really don't want him to play Lucius, that he will always be Draco. I'm really shocked. I thought you guys would jump at the chance for that to be true. I actually really like the idea of Draco being, of, of Lucius being played by Tom Felton. There we are, see, I said called him Draco. I actually like the idea of him playing Lucius Malfoy. I like it. I think it's quite a fun idea to bring him back into the series. I love this one. Adam Driver as Severus Snape. Now, if you don't know who he is, he's kind of Ren in Star Wars. He's ridiculously tall and has a crooked nose because I've met him at the red carpet of Last Jedi. He was so tall. No, was it Last Jedi? No, it wasn't. It was, yeah, was it, was it Last Jedi? No? Yes, it was Last Jedi. Oh my god, I can't even remember. But yes, Adam Driver would make a brilliant Severus Snape. I really love that idea, but we do have some more ideas as well. So if you don't like that idea, then stick with me. I love this idea. Minerva McGonagall being played by Helen Mirren. She is an incredible actress. She really is incredible. She's so ridiculously talented and could play any role. Either her or Meryl Streep. I think Meryl Streep, because I love her in Devil Wears Prada, she's absolutely phenomenal. And I really do love the idea of either Meryl Streep or Helen Mirren playing McGonagall. So I don't know what this guy is called, I don't know his name, but this guy I think would be so cute as Dumbledore. I love the idea of having a little bit of diversity in Harry Potter. I know there's some people saying, well, they shouldn't change this, shouldn't change that. Nobody, I don't think they've mentioned any colour in the books at all. That's why Hermione Granger is a woman of colour in Cursed Child now. You know, I actually like the idea of having some diversity and I love Kingsley and I just think that he, I don't know his name, would play a brilliant part as Dumbledore because he looks so beautiful. So now we have more speculation, right? Again, speculation, not real. Rumours, just rumours. This one I do like the idea of, even though I love the idea of Adam Driver playing Snape, I love the idea of Tim Roth playing Snape because Tim Roth is such, he plays such good evil characters and he's just so like this. Just so. And I love the series he was in, Lie to Me. Oh my God, I love that series. Absolutely loved that. I don't like this choice. Kira Knightley as Bellatrix Lestrange. I do not like that choice. I'm not a massive fan of Kira Knightley. I never really have been. I find her a little bit monotone, if that makes sense. I mean, I'm sure whoever they choose to play Bellatrix, that's going to be really big boots to fill. That really will. But I'm sure they'll pick very well. Okay, I love this idea, but I think Amelia Clark could be a slightly bigger part than Narcissa Malfoy, because even though Narcissa Malfoy isn't mentioned quite a few times in the books, it's not a very big part, and Amelia Clark is a huge actress, but that would be perfect. I do love the idea of Amelia Clark playing Narcissa Malfoy, but I think she could be bigger. Emily Blunt as Lily Potter. Or Emily Blunt as Bellatrix Lestrange. Now that one I would prefer. Although Lily, um, Emily Blunt, I love Emily Blunt. I absolutely love her films. Again, Devil Wears Prada. I'm hearing this and I want to hear this. <laughs> I love my job. I love my job. I love my job. I just love her so much. She's so pretty. <laughs> Dude, she picked up an eyelash curler the other day and asked, what is this? <laughs> I love her so much. She's brilliant. But I think I would prefer her as Bellatrix Lestrange to Lily Potter. Is it Gillian Murphy? I can never remember how to say that name. As James Potter. I actually quite like that, but somebody else in my VA said, what about him as Bertie Crouch Jr.? I love that idea. Him as Bertie Crouch would be phenomenal. Ben Barnes as Sirius Black. Now I can see this. I can see this. I don't know who this guy is, but he is really hot. So, I mean, Sirius Black is hot. Ben Barnes, hello, darling. <laughs> Robert Pattinson as Remus Lupin. I honestly don't think Robert Pattinson would come back to the franchise. He's got such a big thing going on with Batman. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not too sure about that because I'm not a massive fan of Lupin either. I don't know why. Don't hate me, but, I, but I'm not a massive fan, okay? So yeah, we'll move on. Will Poulter as Peter Pettigrew. Again, don't know who this guy is, but I actually like that combination. Um, he's got that real evil like look about him, but also you can see why he would kind of be the extra one of the friendship group. Do you know what I mean? Oh, 
one of my faves one of my faves kate winslet as molly weasley i freaking love that idea kate winslet is brilliant at everything she does she would be incredible absolutely incredible i also did think the other day i know she's she's in her 80s lover and she's wonderful she is a british superstar judy dench Judy Dench didn't get a part in Harry Potter and I was always bitter about that. I really hope Judy Dench can come and be something in Harry Potter. Oh, Martin Freeman as Arthur Weasley. <laughs> love that idea. That is just so brilliant. I love the idea of Martin Freeman playing uh, Arthur Weasley. He'd be so good. <laughs> Show him Google, he'll have a field day. <laughs> Love this one. This one got me going, this one. Benedict Cumberbatch batch as Voldemort. Oh my god, freaking love that so much. Olivia Coleman as Dolores Umbridge. Yes, because if you look, Amelda Staunton is playing Elizabeth II in The Crown now, right? But if before that was Olivia Coleman playing Elizabeth II in The Crown. Wouldn't it be cool if their roles were reversed? So you've got Amelda Staunton playing uh, Umbridge in, the, in Order of the Phoenix, the film, and then you'll have Imelda, Imelda Staunton, not Imelda Staunton, Olivia Coleman playing her then in the TV adaptation. I actually like that little kind of connection there. There's also a scene in The Crown where you see Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth II, obviously Imelda Staunton, and she's in her office, but everything's pink. A Janice sent a screenshot to us and it was like, how is that for Umbridge? <laughs> I loved that, I really did, that was brilliant. But yeah, she still had a little Umbridge trait. Child's Dance as Mad-Eye Moody. Now I am a humongous fan of Child's Dance. Him and Amelia Clark are the two people in the world I would love to meet one day. But I don't know about Child's Dance playing Mad-Eye Moody. I think he could do better than that, I really do. I think he could seriously play somebody pretty amazing but I don't know who. <laughs> so if that's the only one he's being given or he's being offered, then fine. <laughs> I'll take it because I love Charles Dance. Okay, Tilda Swinton. I'm not a massive fan of Tilda Swinton. However, her playing Professor Trelawney, I think she'd smash it. But Emma Thompson apparently has said she'll come back to play the role if they want her, which I do love the idea of because Emma Thompson is amazing. She is absolutely incredibly flawless. No matter what she does, she can do it. So I do love the idea of her coming back to the role because she hasn't aged that much, you know, compared to some other members of the cast. But Tilda Swinton, if I was to pick a Trelawney, I think she would be very good at it, but I'm not a massive fan of hers, but I still think she'd do a good job. Oh, Emma Thompson is McGonagall. Yeah, I, I, but then she's she's tr she's Trelawney. I would really find that hard to part the two. I know that they look. I mean, Emma Thompson has always been incredibly good at looking very different in films. You know, Nanny McPhee springs to mind. Yeah, but I just I don't know her as McGonagall. I think if she's going to play play a role, I think I'd still prefer her to go back and play Trelawney. Oh, Nick Frost as Rubius Hagrid. I love this combination. I think that's brilliant. Nobody's going to replace Robbie Coltrane. Nobody. Robbie Coltrane is a complete treasure, was a complete treasure and still is in the Harry Potter community and he will always be missed and loved. However, we need to think about his replacement. Unfortunately, he can't come back and play, play himself again, uh, play Rubius Hagrid again. So Nick Frost, I do like the idea of that. You know, Rubius Hagrid, that character, JK Rowling said she'd only ever seen that character being played by Robbie Coltrane. Out of everybody in the acting community, the only person she wanted in anyone, any cast member, any character was Robbie Coltrane to play Hagrid, Rubius Hagrid. I love that combination because he was perfect. Somebody said Stephen Fry. Now, I, I understand the whole Stephen Fry thing because he's very, very good at doing the audiobooks, but I don't know about Stephen Fry playing Hagrid. But Nick Frost could bring his own adaptation, his own love, his own craziness. He is a crazy character. And he looks like a giant as well. So I think that's perfect. I love the idea of Michael Caine playing Dumbledore. However, Michael Caine doesn't really do well with playing anybody but Michael Caine. I mean, I could be wrong. You know, he's not going to tell Harry to blow the bloody doors off, is he? So do you know what I mean? It's like, 
will he won't he i don't know i don't know i think once he's all done up and everything i think he'd be very good why don't they just have jude law come back and play him you know jude law's getting older now why can't he just come back and play dumbledore you know there's nothing wrong with that jude law is a fit dumbledore i mean dumbledore isn't fit but jude law is fit and i would like to like at least have some people to swoon over okay oh my god who's gonna play victor crumb oh <gasps> i mean if victor crumb was to come back oh yeah <laughs> Oh, swoon. <laughs> Frickin' love Stan Zievsky. You know I love you, babe. Um, but yeah, Michael Caine is Dumbledore. I don't know. I really don't. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. So that is it. That is so far the speculation. Speculation. Okay, it's not confirmed. Speculation. Apparently no cast members have been chosen yet. Still early days. I mean, we don't know what's going to happen with this TV series, do we? It's it's still a long way off. I will be 45 or 46 when this TV series is released. And I'll be 46, 47 maybe when it finishes. Sorry, 56, 57. Where the hell did I get that from? So I think it'll last a year, fix. Damn. But yeah, so, you know, I we don't know. I, for one, I'm incredibly excited. I am very, very, very excited about this TV series. I think it's wonderful news that we've got something fantastically new, a remake, but new, coming to the Wizarding World. We have this incredible new excitement, this bubbling up. It's like a new book or a new film being released, you know. It is bubbling up. It's the excitement of unknowing and oh, and thinking about all the people. Somebody mentioned yesterday, we'll see the Death Day party. Oh my God, so we will. We'll see Winky, we'll see Andromeda and Ted Tonks. I loved them in Deathly Hallows. We'll see the Gaunts. We'll meet the Gaunts family. The Gaunt family. We'll meet Peeves, Charlie Weasley. I did a survey. 230 people took part and the ones that you're most excited to meet is in third place is Charlie Weasley. In second place are the Gaunts. And in first place is my personal favourite, Peeves. So I can't believe that we get to finally meet those incredible characters and physically see them. How many of you are going back to read the books now or listening to the audiobooks because you want to catch up on everything? You know, it's like, oh, so yeah, I'm very excited. So I'd like to do a video on the TV series every couple of weeks. Let me know how you feel about that in the comments below. What are your takes on these characters? Who would you like to see play these characters? Which actors have you seen or heard? Let's get some American actors in there and some other people as well. Let's kind of round it out because everyone deserves a chance at being in this TV series. So let me know in the comments below what do you think of this incredible, possibly rumoured news. Until next time, take care. I love you all and I'll speak to you very, very soon. my content take a look at this video right here or this video right here don't forget to like and subscribe